a dream fulfilled. And even though he isn't here to see the doors open, Nelson Mandela's legacy will live on within these walls of learning. The first day I shared this news with my grandfather, saying that uh, the people of his birthplace wished to build a high school for their peoples. He was moved because to him, education has always been a weapon one can use to change the world. With the motto, education is freedom, these 465 pupils have begun their high school career. They're hoping to one day fulfill their aspirations in science, technology and agriculture. This school is also unique in a sense that it provides specialization in the various streams of science at this very level. And the focus areas include engineering, science, technology and agriculture. It will therefore provide solid grounding for learners and contribute to addressing skills shortages in these critical areas. No expense has been spared to help these pupils achieve their goals. The school boasts two science labs, a state-of-the-art resource center, two computer rooms and excellent sporting facilities. I never, I never dreamed about the school, but when I come here, I figure that there's so much that I can learn more and I can be what I want to be. When I grow up, I want to be a mechanical engineer, not only just a mechanical engineer, but then a mechanical engineer who's a scientist. I also wanted to be a doctor. The school, which runs on renewable energy, only offers classes up to grade 10 for now. But by 2016, matric classes will be provided. This school is definitely changing the way children are educated in this area. Up until now, pupils had to travel 50 kilometers to Mtata because there was no high school in Mbezo and many were forced to drop out. Sandy McCowan, Mbezo, Eastern Cape. Know more about your world. ENCA.com